So we're talking about the leaderboard workout on Friday the 3rd of February. You have the three rounds for time of five wall walks, 30 meters of dumbbell lunge, five wall walks again, and 30 torso rings. You have to rest exactly two minutes in between rounds and it's three rounds of that. So wherever you finish, if you finish on five, you start again on seven and then your time is the total time to complete all the work, including your rest period. So don't minus the rest periods away when you're putting the time onto the leaderboard. Um, it's a decently high volume workout, um, 30 wall walks, 90 meters of lunges and 90 toes through rings. The lunges you can hold however you want. I would suggest going on the shoulders. You have to have your hands wrapped around the dumbbells and you can't rest the dumbbells on your head or against each other. That's the standard that they used in the quarterfinals last year. So we're gonna keep that standard. So they have to actually be on your shoulders and being supported by, uh, by your hands. Or you can hold them down at your sides, but I think that might be a little bit more fatiguing for your grip uh, going into the big sets of toaster rings, but you can really just do what works best for you there. The toaster rings, 30 reps at once. This is a little bit of an easier movement than a toaster bar because you get that natural sort of swing to keep you going, but what you need to do is practice increasing your cycle speed. So rather than um, that really big swing that you get on the rings, try to shorten the kip a little bit, um, use that sort of scoop technique on the that you would use for a toaster bar. You have sort of the scoop or the swing technique um, to increase the cycle speed of those reps because a, a set of 30 toaster rings um, you can make or lose, even if two people go unbroken, you can make or lose a lot of time there. Um, you might not go unbroken all the way through. Most people will probably not go unbroken. So especially if you're going to break your reps, you need to think about cycle speed. Try not to be under that grip fatigue for as long. It's going to tire your core out a little bit more, but hopefully you have a strong enough core to really try and push through at least the first 10 to 15 reps um, quite fast and then you might need to go to that bigger swing um, towards the end. So really try and keep that in mind, your cycle speed on the toe through rings when you're doing this workout.